Hi everybody, this is Reese Balba from Audiology Associates. Welcome to Friday's Earwax Removal compilation video for today. I hope you've all got that Friday feeling, guys. As uh, so you can see this first patient here, very tough old wax this way. It's really dry. Uh, suction tube, it just kind of buffed off the suction tube, is it? No way. Uh, so we're gonna come in here with a Jobson horn. Uh, you can see how humid this gets very quickly. Don't forget when we're suctioning, we're, we're drawing all the moisture out when we're suctioning. But when you're using a, a tool like this, or this, what they call curatage, this Jobson horn, this one in, in this case, um, you've got nothing taking that moisture away. So you, sometimes you'll get this very kind of humid ear canal, so everything starts to mist up. But this is tough as old boots, this wax. It's coming away well, but uh, it's kind of breaking away in installments. It's so dry that it's almost crumbling apart. You can see bits of dry skin hanging off the bottom of that. Um, so yeah, the patient suffers a lot with dry skin issues. Now, what we may find is as we go in a little bit deeper, we may find the wax becomes a little bit softer in this case. Doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does with these kind of, these plugs. It's really coming away. Now, if you saw uh, Wednesday's video, we had that kind of armadillo wax. This isn't quite the same. It's really tough on the outside, but the center isn't quite as soft and squishy as that one. But there is a little bit, it is a little bit softer than the surface here, but come away really nicely here with a Jobson horn. There we go. Um, right, we can just start to see that back section there. We'll get rid of this front section first because ideally I want to kind of roll this back section down. And if I do that, when there's still stuff at the front, it's going to be a bit like rolling a snowball. Uh, you're going to end up picking up more and more as it rolls down and it's going to become really, really big. So the trick here is to go over the top, just press down ever so slightly, look for that kind of harder chunk and then scoop and see if we can, oh, we just missed it. You kind of try to scoop that bottom section, that harder section forwards, and then it tends, the whole thing tends to slide out. So we're gonna have another little go at that now. Here we are, trying to press into the harder section. Ooh, is it gonna to stay together? No, it doesn't look promising. No, I just scraped over the top. Now, if you watched Wednesday's video as well, guys, you know we talk about when it gets quite thin, sometimes we have to switch it up here. Um, obviously, by the feel of this, I can feel that harder section is almost moving. Oh, there we go, that's got it. You can see how that front section started to come forward really quickly. There we go, we got hold of that harder kind of, I don't know, <laughs> husk I like to call it. You guys are not a big fan of the word husk. But you can see, look how that whole section came away. That is a big old chunky bit of wax, that one. Uh, it had pretty much gone the whole length of the ear <laughs> canal wall. Wow, it took everything with it, that's amazing. So as it all came uh, came away there, you can see that bottom, so where we scooped that bottom section out. But it's taken away enough of that top section. Look at the size of that plug on the left. Oh no, it's the right hand side for you guys, it's reversed. Um, so we've got four, Four centimeters, one and five eighths of an inch, I think. Uh, there, so you can see a fair size piece of wax that top one. And don't forget, everything below that at the moment came away from the top section of the wax. Oh, okay, so we've gone from one extreme to the other here. Now this wax, my heart does sink a little bit uh, for 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 wax uh, like this. It, it just it's a real difficult one to get out. Um, not so much challenging, but it's just uh, fiddly more than anything else. When you get this really kind of squishy, soft wax like this, uh, patient bless him, I've been throwing olive oil in by the gallon in here. There was so much in here. So this wax is now turned from uh, something with a little bit of structure to something completely squishy and wet and sticky and it's got everywhere it shouldn't be. Um, so not an easy one to remove. Um, what you tend to find with this one, when you're using suction on this, uh, as soon as the suction tube comes into contact with it, you can see all the bits getting sucked in, but it tends to block really quickly. So there's a lot of, you know, you try it, you start to get the wax moving a little bit and you'll see a bit of movement, you think it's gonna come out and then all of a sudden it just kind of stretches and attaches this front section, which is what you can see going on here. So you're constantly having to pull the tube out, flush it through, back in, take the next bit, flush it through again. So it's quite painstaking, this one. Um, but it's coming away as best it can, really. You can see I'm trying to find any kind of purchase here, because the first thing we've got to try and do is, is unstick this from the canal wall. But if you've got a, a solid bit of wax, that's easy, you just peel it off. But when it's this sticky, you have to kind of chip very slowly all the way around the edge, but it is coming away. See, I'm switching from one side <laughs> to the other, looking for any way of getting this out. 
why you tend to find with this kind of wax as well is we talk about your anterior recess. If you're new to the channel, uh, imagine like a little valley that forms just in front of the eardrum. It's quite common. Uh, you know, everyone's got one, sorry. But it, it basically, as, you, as you've got this bump that comes around the side here, it forms this little kind of valley shape. Uh, and when you've got soft wax like this, it's always down in there. You'll always find some in there as well. See how we're, we're kind of just dropping the suction tube on top of the wax and then using the suction to draw this forwards. Um, I'm just spotted there's some slightly harder wax at the base of the canal here. Oh, a little bit of dry skin in here as well, getting sucked in. Um, there's a little bit of more, so oh, that was a bit of movement. So we're gonna hold on to the top and draw, oh, we're gonna work with this. We've drawn this down, we're gonna start rolling this wax down the ear canal now. There we go. Ah, uh, now we're getting a bit of movement. Okay, the key now is, can we get this out without it sticking again to the canal walls on the outside edge? Is it gonna roll? I wish I could tell you because I can't remember. <laughs> I did this a couple of days ago and I can't remember this one at all. So it started to roll down. Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, I think this is gonna break, guys. Looking at this, look at how that front is really mobile. You can. What I always do when I'm looking at this kind of wax is look at what the suction tube's actually working on and then look at what the wax behind is doing. If you're getting loads of, mo loads of movement at the front, but the back is barely moving, then this is gonna detach and break away really easily, um, which is what happened here. So we've got that surface layer away. We've got this tougher back layer. How is this wedged in? We need to find the edge here. Gosh, this is just, oh, there's a bit of movement there. Okay, let's take away this top section because I'm gonna to need to flick this uh, through 90 degrees. I think we're gonna hold on this this section here on the left, it's backwards on my screen. Oh, there's a good bit of movement there. Ah, it's, it's all very loose, it's almost in layers. Uh, let's try and get this next section moving. Let's aim for this bottom now. Can we lift this out of the recess? Oh, it's a little bit more solid there. Let's hold on to that. Oh, now we get, there we go. Look how that, oh, I just got a little bit of uh, olive oil on the camera. That was such a shame, so we're really getting there then. Um, so we're gonna hold on this bottom section. Are we gonna, can we lift this? Oh, it's, it's so frustrating, because I can see it stuck in that recess. But as much as I'm wiggling it, it's not getting out of there at all. It's really firmly stuck in there. <laughs> Come on, it's almost there. I can see it's just, it's just about coming out. I think I've popped a little bit more olive oil. Yeah, I have. I've popped a little bit more olive oil in here because if I get this thing moving, I want it to keep coming out. Oh my goodness, right? You can see lots of it is really getting sucked inside that uh, tube now. There we go. That just lifted that side section. Let's see if we can drag this out of the, the recess. Oh my word, this does not want to budge. Okay, we're gonna aim just above and see if we can draw this across. I see how the, the left-hand side, <laughs> I hate working backwards. You can see the left-hand side, watch how that starts to move as we get a grip on this. You can see it's all imploding in, but I wanna draw it around that section. I need it to detach somewhere in this recess. Oh, that was a nice picture. Ah, there we go, okay. So now we can see the bottom right. So if we can drag from right to left here, it's gonna draw this whole, oh, from left to right, it's backwards, isn't it? It's gonna draw this whole section forwards. There we go. My goodness me, that did not want to come away there very easily. But it's all come away now. It looks nice and healthy. Sorry, there's no ruler shot for the last one because it was all so soft and sticky. It all just got sucked inside the machine. Well, guys, uh, I hope you stuck with that one. That, that last, you can see how it, it gets, it's so difficult with those really, really sticky ones to, to draw it out, especially when it's stuck in the anterior recess as well. I've got a lovely anterior recess one for you on Monday, I think. Yeah, keep an eye out for that one. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed those videos as much as I did voicing them over. We shall see you again on Monday. So as always, guys, take care of your ears, take care of yourselves, and take care of one another. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye, everyone.